One of the best ways to ensure successful colostrum management is to test the quality of colostrum on farm. It can be easy, affordable and the health and productivity of our calves is worth the effort. In this film, part of Dairy Co's calf management series, we look at why and how you should test the quality of colostrum. I'm joined now by Sarah from Dairy Co. Sarah, why should dairy farmers and stock people caring for calves test colostrum? We test colostrum quality so that we can measure the level of antibodies, sometimes known as immunoglobulins, within that colostrum. We need to ensure a high level of antibodies transferred into the calf for high levels of immunity. Testing colostrum is quick and easy to do. You should test colostrum every time it's collected. Good quality colostrum can be fed or stored, while poor quality colostrum should be discarded. There are two instruments you can use to determine the quality a colostrometer or a BRICS refractometer. You can use either method, but each one has its own advantages or disadvantages. You can purchase either for a similar price. However, colostrometers may be more easily broken than refractometers and can be affected by the temperature and the frothiness or density of the colostrum. The refractometer is more robust and accurate in its readings of quality. There are many BRICS refractometers out there and you need to purchase one ranging from 0 to 32%. To test for quality using a colostrometer, you'll need colostrum, which has cooled to room temperature, a very clean jug, clean enough to use in your kitchen, a clean measuring cylinder and the clean colostrometer. When you're using the colostrometer, it's always important to use it at the same temperature. And so the colostrum should ideally be at a room temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. It's also important to make sure there is no froth on top of the colostrum. The colostrum should have been collected into a clean bucket and then a sample taken with an equally clean jug so that you don't introduce bacteria. The colostrum from the jug should then be transferred into the measuring cylinder that should have been provided with the colostrometer. The device should be floated in the colostrum for one minute. If after one minute the reading is in the green zone, this indicates good quality colostrum. The concentration of immunoglobulin is over 50 milligram per milliliter, and this colostrum should be used or stored. If on the other hand the reading is in the red zone, this indicates poor quality colostrum, with a concentration of immunoglobulin of less than 20 milligram per milliliter. This colostrum should be discarded. To test using a BRICS refractometer, you'll need clean water, clean tissues and the refractometer itself. Before using the BRICS refractometer, we must always calibrate it. We do this by taking a few drops of distilled water and putting it on the glass. Just a couple of drops are required. We then gently close the lens cover across it, taking care to avoid air bubbles and dry patches. You should allow 15 seconds before attempting calibration to allow the liquid to adjust to ambient temperature. This is done by holding the eyepiece up towards the light. You'll see the circular field with graduations down the centre. You may have to focus the eyepiece to see the graduations clearly. The scale should read zero. This is determined by looking at where the light and dark areas meet. If the scale does not read zero, you'll need to adjust the refractometer. Turn the calibration screw until the boundary between the upper dark and lower light areas meet exactly at zero on the scale. Once you're happy the refractometer is correctly calibrated, wipe clean the surfaces using a clean, dry tissue. Once dry, take two or three drops of colostrum, placing them on the glass surface, carefully lowering the cover to make sure there are no dry areas or air bubbles. Then take the reading as before. The cutoff value for high quality colostrum is 22%, which represents 50 mg per milliliter of immunoglobulin. If the reading is less than this, the colostrum shouldn't be used. Once you're happy with the reading, the refractometer should be cleaned scrupulously, cleaning both the glass surface and the cover to avoid contamination of the next sample. Do not immerse the refractometer in water, as this will damage it. So whether you use a colostrometer or a refractometer to measure your antibody levels, there are two things you must remember. 
Firstly, to test each sample of colostrum you're storing, and secondly, to do so in a hygienic manner. This allows us to feed only good quality colostrum to our calves and enables us to discard poor quality colostrum. You can find more information about caring for newborn calves on the Dairyco Calf Health Fact Sheets or through the Dairyco website.